Hello internet people, in this web quickie video I will explain the differences between users, sessions, hits and page views in Google Analytics and I'll mention how visitors and visits are related to all of this. Take sweat punch. Let's start from the easiest metric to understand, a hit. A hit in web analytics just means you send data to Google Analytics. Now hits by themselves are pretty useless, we need to add information to them and we need to know when or where the hit was triggered. For example, a page view is a hit because we know where and when it happens. Basically, whenever you load a page, that's a page view, right? Oh, and keep in mind that even if you reload the page, it's counted as a new page view but there will be only one unique page view. So you might reload uh, endlessly the page, that's every time a new page view, but for unique page views, that metric will stay the same, so it's just one. Okay, then we go one level higher from hits in the hierarchy, we have sessions, or some other web analytics platforms call it a visit. So sessions and visits are synonyms, but a lot of people confuse these two. It's just the naming convention uh, of the software, if you use GA, just stick to sessions. Anyway, you can have multiple hits in a session. A session expires after 30 minutes of inactivity or at midnight. Now to make the matter more complicated, GA4, so the newest version of GA, does not have sessions anymore. It's an event-based model. And if you want to learn more about that, check out the white YouTube card in the top right corner of your screen. It should appear right, right now there. Then if you go to the highest level of the hierarchy, we come to the user or in the other web analytics, they call it a visitor. Again, user and visitor are synonyms. So don't get confused by those because they are exactly the same. A user can have multiple sessions and it doesn't expire until you are inactive for two years or you clear your browser cookies. But keep in mind, this is specific to your browser and device. So if you swap to another browser on the same device, GA will think you are a new user. So the hierarchy goes like this. In, th in theory, you should have one user that has multiple sessions spread out across days, weeks, sometimes even years. And each of those sessions has multiple hits like page views, e-commerce transactions, and events. And another metric in GA that a lot of people get wrong is bounce rate. I'll dive deeper into bounce rate and what, does, what it means and how it gets triggered in the video that you see on your screen right now. 